Spare ribs are right here, you guys. Starting to prep with some mustard. We're gonna do them a little different today. Give it some mustard. We got the jerk wings right there. The garlic wings are right there. Jerk and garlic wings are right there. We got spare rib right here. Got a sample, and like I said, we're gonna season them a little different today. And in the sink, we still got one more spare rib to go. So when I get them all seasoned up, I'll tell you about it back in a minute. Went back, and for the first slab we did, um, seasoning salt, black pepper, garlic salt, and for the second one here, I'm getting ready to add the Mrs. Dash, but we also use the Tennessee Smoke. So we got Tennessee Smoke. We're gonna have Mrs. Dash and seasoning salt on this one. And on this one, we're gonna have seasoning salt, garlic salt, and black pepper. And on the other one, it'll have my seasoning, my Outback with Chaz all-purpose seasoning. All right, guys, the reason I'm gonna be doing this, I wanna see what different seasoning, how it makes the texture, and how does it makes it tender, and does the color change when you use the different seasonings. So with that being said, back in a minute. And I got them all seasoned now. So this has got the seasoning salt, the garlic salt, and black pepper. This one has the uh, Tennessee smoke, the Mrs. Dash, and seasoning salt. Not seasoning salt, but garlic salt on it. And this is just a sample right there. That's just a little sample. And like I said, they go to jerk wings. They go to garlic wings. They didn't give me that many flats. They gave me a whole lot of legs, though. Little drummits. And I got one more to do, and that'll be covered in the Outback with Chaz seasoning, also with mustard. So with that being said, I'll let you guys see that once I'm finished. Back in a minute. I'm back. And I didn't put the mustard on the one that's covered with my seasoning. I'm going to just let it ride just like it is. So with that being said, this is the finished look. This has the Outback which has all purpose season on it. So with that, we're gonna get ready to wrap these up and take them outside, light the grill, and get this fun time smoke started. All right, back in a minute. What's up everybody and welcome back to Outback with Chaz. Today you guys, we got three slabs of ribs that we're doing. We also got some jerk wings and some garlic wings that we're doing. But before we get started with all of that, I want to thank God for waking me, blessing me, keeping me in my right mind, giving me the health and strength to go forth today and do this fun time smoke for you guys. So with that being said, we got the grill lit. Just waiting for it to calm down a little bit and get to where I want it to be. We'll probably be cooking around. It's over high right now. It's real high. It's windy a little bit today. But we're going to try to get it down to no more than around 3, maybe 375, and then we'll get started. Back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is how the meat is looking. You see we got that fire under there. So we're going to use that. Like I said, I don't really care about the bottom half too much, but I'm not going to let it cook too long on the on the bottom. But you got the one that's covered in the all-purpose Outback with Chai seasoning over there. This one is covered with the um, smoke, Tennessee smoke, uh, seasoning salt, garlic salt. This is Mrs. Dash, seasoning salt and black pepper. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip these over and see what the bottom is looking like. Back in a minute. All right, I'm back. Now I'm gonna flip them over. And as you can see, the wind is going pretty heavy out here. So I'll show you how the grill, see how the cover's moving on the grill. So I got a little wind today, but you can see how it's cooking. It's cooking a little high, but that's okay. I'm not gonna let that bother me today. We're going to have this fun time smoke. So we got these three spare ribs on here today. And we're going to see how it all turns out. We also got the sample right there. And I do have the jerk wings and the garlic wings over here. I'm getting ready to put those on as well. So that we can go ahead and get this fun time smoke rolling. All right, guys. Back in a minute. All right, I'm back. And like I said, we're cooking a little bit higher today. It's a little bit past 375, but I got the grill open right now trying to cool it down. But hey, we're cooking good. The color's looking good to me. I'm not letting it get too dark, you guys. Just letting it cook. I got some of the jerk wings on right now. I got to put some of the garlic on there. So 
So we're going to let this continue to do its cook. And we're going to get this fun time smoke rolling. It's going pretty good so far. All right, guys. Back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, look at the color of these. This is the garlic over here. Look at the color on there. Man, them guys are cooking really good. Yeah, I moved the ribs, you guys. I wanted to get these wings on and get them out the way. And as you can see there, getting themselves on out of the way. They're cooking really nice. Yeah, I still got my phone, you guys, for right now. I do have a camera, but I got to just wait until I can get myself together here so I can play with it a little bit and get used to using the camera. And here's a jerk. That color on these are, are really cold, y'all. They looking good. I like how this is looking. I like how this is turning out. All of it is turning out good. Don't worry. The, the ribs are going to be fire, too. Don't even worry about it. I'm just trying to get these wings done. Get them basically cooked and out of the way so then I can set the ribs back down. And let them continue their cook. So I just wanted to come back and let you guys see how the, the little drumish was turning out. And then the ribs up there. So we'll be back here in a minute. And we're probably going to wrap the ribs and let them cook the rest of the way. But for right now this is how everything is turning out. Alright guys. Back in a All minute. Alright guys I'm back. And this is the garlic wings right here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap those so I can re-up the grill because the grill is kind of dying down now because of the wind. So we got the jerk wings are right here. Let's see if you guys can see them. That is jerk wings, garlic ring wings, and the spare ribs are all wrapped up right now. So we're getting ready to redo the grill so we can heat it back up and we're going to take it from there and we'll finish out this fun time smoke all right guys back in a minute all right guys i'm back and as you can see we got the grill going again but i got everything wrapped everything is wrapped so now we're just going to let this fun time smoke finish out we're going to let this go for about two hours then we'll come back and check it we know that the garlic wings over here are done we know that the jerk wings are done so now we're just waiting on the three spare ribs and we'll be back we'll cut everything up put it in the pan and that'll finish out the video all right guys back in a minute all right guys i'm back and we're going to get ready and take the ribs out of the aluminum foil and place them back on the rack so they can dry out a little bit so if you give me a minute i'm gonna go in i'm gonna have to get a glove so i can take these out all right back in a minute smells good out here guys man all right guys i'm back i'm not gonna get a glove i'm just gonna go ahead and try to take these out hopefully they don't fall apart on me because i can see the bone is coming loose in one of these up here you can see as i'm trying to pick that up it's trying to break so let's see if we can just slide him on over and set him down on the grill so there goes one A lot of juice in there. I don't want to start pouring too much juice in here. Let's see if I can just close it up. Sorry about that, guys. Got y'all looking at the bottom of the grill. All right. Let's see if I can get that closed up. I'm gonna set that off out of the way. We're gonna pull this one down. A lot of juice in these guys. A lot of juice. Let's see if we can get this one out without it tearing. It's number two. And like I said, I'm just taking them out so they can dry out some. They already tender, I already know that. So we're just trying to just trying to get them out so they dry out a little. 
and for the last one this one has that Outback with Chaz seasoning on it y'all so hey I had to say that I gotta say all the ribs cooked good in the aluminum foil all of them did so just gonna take them out and let them finish out their this fun time smoke on the grill I got a feeling this one is gonna break on me though so I'm trying to figure out how to which way I want to tackle taking them off but as you see if I bend it too far it's gonna break so I'm gonna go ahead and set him down look at the drawback guys so, all right. As you can see, we got the ribs out of the foil now. I'm back on the grill. So we're gonna let these go ahead and go for about maybe an hour. And uh, I'm gonna flip them over in about in about 30 minutes. And then the last little bit of the time, we will just check on them again. See how they're turning out. But I know they're gonna be fire. So that being said, guys back in a minute and oh we can't forget about the garlic wings over here and the jerk wings up here all right back in a minute guys all right guys i'm back man i had to come back guys look at the color of these ribs y'all can't tell me them ribs don't look good i told y'all stop playing with me i keep telling y'all y'all playing with me you know everybody keep telling me to come, stop telling y'all to stop playing with me but y'all playing with me so i gotta tell you stop playing with me Anyway, I like this game guys. I'm gonna keep on playing this game until I show y'all something So hey with that being said, I just want y'all to come back and see how the ribs was looking Look at how the bones then drew back. Look at that. Look like scattered teeth, don't they? Man Then you come on this side look at this one. Y'all just better stop it man stop playing Stop playing, stop playing. Hey, <laughs> we're having a great time out here with this fun time smoke. So we're going to let this go ahead and continue to smoke on out. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. Back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, everything is cooking really good. The color looks real good to me. So I'm not going to hold this phone over the grill too long. I told you guys I have a problem with that when it gets too hot. So I'm just going to back up a little bit and hope you guys can get a good picture. But we're going to go ahead and stack these now and just let them finish out the cook like that. And then I'll come back. We'll cut them up. Just put them in the pan. Put the chicken in the pan. And that's going to close out the video. All right, guys. Back in a minute. All right, guys. I'm back. And I'm coming back to show you guys. I was getting ready to come out and cut the ribs up. I picked this one up. And look what happened. So, I guess I'm about to be a little bit more careful. But I'm going to go ahead now and cut these up. When I turn the camera back on, I have them inside the pan along with the chicken. And we're going to close out the video from there. All right, back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. So we're going to take a look. I got all the meat cut up now. Let some of that smoke go by. This is the rib that was covered with the Outback with Chaz seasoning right here. This is the one that was covered with the uh, mustard. This is covered with mustard. But this had the smoke, Tennessee smoke, the uh, seasoning salt, and the Mrs. Dash. This has seasoning salt, garlic salt, and pepper. So, here we go with the jerk chicken right here. The garlic chicken is right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the pan. And I'll give you guys the final look of how they're put in the pan. And then we'll close out the video. All right, guys, back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. And this is going to conclude the video. This is going to be the final look of the food. So what you guys think? How you think it turned out? Everything looks good, guys. So with that being said, hit that like button, that share button, the subscribe button. Turn on all post notifications. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram with Outback with Chaz and TikTok with Outback with Chaz. And I'll catch you guys in the next Fun Time Smoke. And thanks for watching. Later, guys.